as a child. One of my earliest memories of chocolate and how I've always loved chocolate, chocolate right from being a kid was uh, it was a family ritual in my family. My father led the way and we made fudge. And I can remember very, very clearly, I can remember the taste as if it was yesterday. And those pieces, our share, uh, we guarded like gold. Really that started my fascination with chocolate, which I'm incredibly fortunate today to be able to uh, work with chocolate uh, each and every day. chance to do uh, all the quality? Yeah. Yeah, quality issues at every step, right? Having, uh, having a degree in uh, food science and that scientific background really helps me in day to day in, in, in all of my thinking. When we have an issue uh, or a challenge, when we're coming up with a new product, uh, we're, we're doing consistently a series of testing hypotheses and, and I use that technical background that I've learned through science to, to get the right uh, chocolate. And, and in this case, we're very lucky because you know, our hypothesis always end up in doing taste tests of eating chocolate, so it's a lot of fun. I'm going to give you an example here of how we get a liquid center inside a, uh, a chocolate. And so in this case, uh, what we're using is a natural enzyme derived from yeast uh, that is called invertase. Invertase breaks down sucrose to glucose and fructose, which is a more soluble form of, of sugar. So what we'll do is we'll take a fondant center and, and put some invertase with that, which is this natural enzyme, and over a series of about 10 days, it will break down the uh, sucrose to glucose and fructose, and you'll get more of a liquid center inside the cherry after about 10 days. And so um, one of the secrets to how you get uh, the liquid inside uh, a chocolate center. Uh, the way I taste chocolate is not like uh, other people. When I eat a chocolate, uh, there, there's a real science to eating chocolate. The sensory evaluation is, is very complex. Uh, on your palate of your mouth, the taste buds pick up different nuances of that flavor as you eat that. And about 80%, in fact, of your uh, taste of, uh, your, your sense of uh, tasting actually is uh, through your olfactory senses and through your nose. When you eat a product, I, I let it linger on my tongue, get all of the senses, and also then get all those volatiles that those, those aromas uh, develop out of the chocolate and sense those through your nose and the sense of smell in addition to the sense of taste. I'll taste, I'll taste a bite, I'll let that linger on my taste buds. With experience of tasting, you, you get to develop all those nuances of taste. So I can taste the slightest hint of, uh, of uh, espresso at first, and then the coffee flavor bursts a little larger. I can taste the texture, sense the texture really. Whenever you're developing a chocolate, you want to have that right balance of texture, taste, and combination that goes together. Um, that's why we look so carefully at the, the thickness of the shell, the thickness of the center, and how they all marry together to make that perfect chocolate. For someone, uh, a kid that uh, grew up watching his dad make fudge to uh, getting to eat chocolate uh, every day as part of my job, uh, my kids often uh, think that's, uh, I have two boy, young boys and they think I eat chocolate all day long at work, so that's, uh, and, and I do.